They're giving weed away to poor people in Berkeley, California. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we've got a little more info for you. Marijuana dispensaries will be required to give 2% of their pot to people earning less than $32,000 per year. The measure is destined to provide pain relief to the needy who cannot afford prices that reach $400 for an ounce of legalized weed. The regulation was passed last month by the city council. It takes effect next summer. I wanna give a shout out uh, to our director, Mike, who got very excited when we uh, showed that right there. Um, okay, look, we do a lot of weed stuff here. I smoke weed, I have no problem with weed, like the weed. You know, once. I did it once. And I didn't I, inhale. And I, I did not inhale. I'm high right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Um, oh, yeah, just once? Just one marijuana. Just once for you. One yes. marijuana for you. <laughs> and I would imagine since you got rid of your dreads. Now oh, you, I'm clean. You're totally slate. clean. Clean slate. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so there's just something kind of funny about this story, I guess, in general, like that the government would be giving weed to poor people. So let's just get the funny stuff out and then we can go. Like, is there something funny about this? There's something funny, right? Like, we're going to give weed to poor people? Like, I mean, it's medical marijuana, so it's... Well, yeah, technically it's supposed to be I mean, serving a purpose yeah. medically, right? I right. mean, you know, so you're trying to help people out. But the, the only the only issue I kind of had with this was forcing businesses to give away 2% of, you know, their product, which you wouldn't normally do. But I heard from a bird through the grapevine that sometimes when you go to these places, they give you free joints anyway. Yeah, so it might not totally be so bad. Yeah. <laughs> they totally might do that. Okay, yeah. They totally might. Do you never know. Like so getting away from the funny part of like just... I don't. I just have this vision of like there would be homeless people that we'd just be getting them stoned all day. That just seems funny to me but, somehow. Okay, but. think about it this way. I mean, we, there's state aid um, given to these to poor people yeah. who can go in and get prescriptions filled that yeah. are things that are way more serious. You know, Narcons like you know oxys or. Adderall, or you know, things that really can affect people yeah. and affect the people's really functions. good stuff, the not really just the really good weed. stuff. Yeah. Like we just like, eh, but yeah. if I'm like nodding out, that's yeah. not a good day. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like this is, and these are medically, these are regulated things that large companies make a tremendous amount of money on. Still, you know, with these people coming in with their state aid insurance, and I feel like this, in a sense, is amazing because it's taking big business out of it, and I, I think that's that's making huge strides in the whole industry in general. Yeah. You mentioned that narcotics is one of the number one killers of ac like accidental deaths in America, you know? Mm -hmm. So for people to be worried about marijuana that yeah, hasn't killed anyone ever. Right, yeah, I mean, you know. Like I've smoked like a giant blunt and like face planted. And I, I've never like died from that, obviously, because I'm sitting right here. <laughs> if I ever smoked weed. That, that was deep, Whitney. You obviously <laughs> do smoke a lot of weed. I'm like definitely high right now. Right, I mean, every time we do a weed story, we talk about that, that, uh, <laughs> that, Right, people don't die of weed. It's just they don't. They don't even get into yeah. car accidents because of weed. They sit there and they eat and they yeah. laugh and that's it. That's the bigger concern. I'd be more concerned on people wasting their food stamps much faster <laughs> because it's about to get serious. So what about the people that would argue it's gonna kill their motivation? Because there is probably some truth to that. You could smoke weed and you sit there and watch cartoons instead of going to get a job and doing what you should do to be a productive member of society. Yeah, I was watching a debate on Fox News about this and that's exactly what the pastor was saying. What are we oh. gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make all these people out there who don't have a job even more lazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if they weren't doing things before, they're probably not gonna do less things now because people, they're high. Yeah, you know, a lot of people who are maybe, homeless. <laughs> maybe they'll start thinking outside of the box. A know? lot of people who yeah. are homeless or poor, they're they're in these situations because of you know medical problems that they have or other problems in their life. It's not just because they're lazy, and that's a big misunderstanding right. that a lot of people have. They stigmatize you know people who are lower income and they call them lazy when that's not the case. Right. Exactly. I 100% agree on a serious level of this. Yeah. And medical marijuana actually does have positive effects on things like cancer and arthritis like ri very real, real things, Parkinson's yeah. all kinds of stuff yeah. I mean so it, it's like these could act this could actually be a beneficial alternative treatment that is actually saving taxpayers money and helping people at the same time so yeah. I'm all for it um, all right so we're, we're pretty much all we're, agreed here we are we're, we're all agreed on the weed um, do you think years from now that the people that are against legalizing weed, forget this, the, the poor person angle here, but the people that are still fighting it now, are they gonna be looked back on and just thought of as totally ridiculous? I mean, yeah, we're probably gonna look back on them in the same way we look back on the people who were all for the prohibition. Yeah. You know, I mean, freedom. 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 Man. Yeah, I just wanna be free, man. Free love. Be free. <laughs> free love, there you go. <laughs>